Well, book lovers from all over the tri-state will come together today to celebrate the joy of reading. Authors from across the country will be on hand for a free event at the Duke Energy Convention Center. It's called Books by the Bank, Cincinnati, USA Book Festival. And author Roger Brucker will be signing copies of his book, seen here, titled Grand, Bloomy, and Peculiar, Stephen Bishop at Mammoth Cave. And Roger, thanks for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you, appreciate it. Mammoth Cave, as many of us know, is a popular vacation spot in Kentucky. It's about, I'd say, three and a half hours or so south of Cincinnati. That's about right, yes. Yeah, and so tell us about the story about Stephen Bishop. Stephen Bishop was a slave who was brought to Mammoth Cave at age 17 in 1838, and he explored the cave uh, extensively and found about 20 miles of that cave. He became the economic engine that put Mammoth Cave on the map and made it on the map of American wonders. And uh, of course today we can go down and see Mammoth Cave, which is, as you say, not far away. And you've explored Mammoth Cave for years, I understand. That's correct. Mammoth Cave is almost 400 miles long <laughs> in its surveys, and Stephen Bishop was really one of the first systematic explorers who came to do this. And what I think is interesting about your book is that you tell this story through the eyes of his wife, Charlotte. Not through his eyes, but through the eyes of his wife. I thought about that, and that's the dilemma of a writer. I've written four other non-fiction books, but this is a novel because it has to be told in first person. And uh, Stephen Bishop, dead many years ago, can't uh, tell the story. So I have it in the form of a memoir by his wife, Charlotte. And Charlotte tells of the, her own adventures uh, and her uh, marriage to Stephen and their life together, and she went exploring with him. And it's a historical novel, which we should note is part of the story is real and part of it is fiction. How true is it to the real story, would you say, of Stephen Bishop? I would say the story is as close to, to the fact as we can get it. We haven't violated any known facts. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donald Murphy, who's the CEO of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, called it the about the best historical novel he has ever read, which I mm -hmm. consider very helpful to me. Right. And it's entertaining as well. It has a little bit of romance, their love story is in this book as well as learning about caving which I, I think you stress the importance of what to do and what not to do in a cave because you followed his path as short as it was compared to now but you followed his path inside Mammoth Cave. The, that was most of the research had to do with going to the places that he went to including crossing the bottomless pit in the way that he actually did it. <laughs> the, there have been many stories and legends over time that he threw a ladder across the pit and simply scampered across risking death at every move but really we found exactly how it was done and that's revealed in the book. And. Uh, does that have anything, can you say, did he try to escape? No, he no, never did. He didn't use the cave uh, to try and escape. Slavery in, in Kentucky was mixed. We all have heard of plantation life with its cruelty and uh, mm -hmm. abuse. Uh, it was a little different in Kentucky. It was still slavery, but nevertheless, uh, people valued slaves and they uh, treated them uh, pretty much as people rather than simply property. All right, well, we could go on and on about this book. It's an interesting read. Roger, thank you for joining us. If you'd like more information about his book and the Cincinnati USA Book Festival, all you have to do is go to our website at wcpo.com.